welcome 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 so today i will be doing a tutorial on how to thread a machine so we are going to set up that machine behind me uh before we go anywhere i would like to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel so if you haven't done that please do that press this button red button below and next to it there's a bell notification please make that on as well so without wasting any time let us thread the machine for this video and many other videos that i will be doing i will be using this brother machine it is a ja1400 model and it looks like this I will divide this video into three sections where I will show you the anatomy of the machine, I'll show you how to wind the bobbin, and lastly, I will show you how to thread the actual machine. You will need a thread, a thread cutter, as well as a bobbin. Let us have a look on the right hand side of this machine. This is a foot controller socket where a foot pedal plug goes in and this is how you fit it in like that and that is the presser foot so that is the foot pedal basically. This here is an air vent. Now an air vent remember that it helps with uh, air circulation so this helps with air circulation in the machine so you must never ever cover this area with stash of fabric this black button here is the main power button so when you switch it on the lights would automatically come on this wheel here is a hand wheel so it manually controls the needle up and down Okay, let us have a look at this machine from the top. There is this long pin over here that is called a spool pin. It is important to fully extend it when you're using it because you don't want your thread to jump out as soon as you start sewing. All right. And next to it, there is a bobbin winder. That is this short one here. It's a bobbin winder spool. So you move that spool to the right if you want to wind your bobbin and back to the left if you are done when you are done that is a stopper so that stopper i basically use it as a guide as to when to stop winding all right so now this here on the left is called a thread guide groove so you hook your thread there this is just the illustration to show you um how to hook it so when you're using the lower part, you will guide it down. And when you are using the top part of the machine, that is the bobbin, you will hook your thread around the disc and to the bobbin winder. Okay, so this is the famous view of the machine at the front. And this is a selection wheel where you can choose which stitch you want to use. As you can see, there's a range of stitches, the straight stitches as well as zigzags and on this side the zigzags for um, a buttonhole when you do a buttonhole now i will show you at a later stage how to use this thing here below here there is a reverse button so that you use when you want to secure your stitch that is a tension selection wheel so it ranges from zero to nine on the left hand side of the machine there's a thread cutter so it is very convenient when you are sewing fabric so this is how it works you will just cut it like that okay and this is the presser foot now no earlier on i said a presser foot is something else but this here is what we call the presser foot and behind there there is a lever to move the presser foot up and down now coming here into that compartment it is a bobbin compartment so that is where 
we put in the bobbin or when we sew. And yeah. Winding a bobbin with this machine is very easy. I'm going to show you. So what you'll do is you pull out the spool pin, making sure that it's fully extended. It's fully out like that. Take your thread and put it on the in the spool pin. Make sure that your thread rolls out anti-clockwise like that. Now you will hook the thread onto the groove. If you are not sure which way is the right way, there's pictures there on the machine to that you can refer to. Now you will take your thread and take it around that pre-tension disc there and guide it to the bobbin. Now if your thread is loose like that, it is easy for it to get tangled so you need to pull it nice and firm so that it doesn't tangle but not too firm all right so you'll do that and pull it to the side like that so my bobbin looks something like this you will notice that there's a hole in there and so you will take the end of the thread and pass it through the hole from the bottom to the top like that and with your right hand hold the bobbin and start winding a few times with your hand in a clockwise direction do a few times like that okay so when you're done with that you will place the bobbin in the short spool like that and then slide slide it to the right while holding the thread up So you will make sure that your thread is still fine there. And now it is better to um, roll the thread, that excess thread, a few times on your finger. So it doesn't slip when you start winding. Don't pull too hard. Now start pressing your foot pedal. Okay, so now when all that is done, you will take your clippers and cut your thread, cut it at the back, and now pull from the front. Slide your bobbin to the left to show that you are done. Slide it to the left and take it out. You can either wind it like how I'm doing it there, or you can just cut the excess thread off. <laughs> So we've come to the last part of the video, which is threading the sewing machine. Now I'm going to say this for the last time. Remember that when you put your thread on the spool pin, the pin must be fully up and the bobbin pin to the left side. So you will take your thread, pull it. You would pull it to the guide. And because we are done with the upper threading, our thread will not go that way, but it will go down where we want it. So it will go down. Take your thread under the tension guide and back up like that to another guide there. And hook it onto this piece here like that from right to left hook it on there okay so when that is done you will take the end of the thread and pass it through the needle hole if your thread curls up it's not the end of the world you can uncurl it you don't necessarily have to undo the whole thing you can just uncurl it like how I'm doing there and pull it to the side. Now open the bobbin compartment and put in your bobbin that we did wind earlier on. So there's your bobbin. 
put it in there and start pulling it guiding it towards your left hand side you see there is a picture here so you need to pull it and then guide your thread to the left side how do you know that you are doing it right your bobbin should roll when you pull it and when you're done you can once you've closed your bobbin compartment there is one last step that you still need to do which is to fetch the bobbin thread from the bottom and align it with your needle in the center lift your presser foot so you can have enough space to work around and start rotating your hand wheel towards you until your needle is fully up so you will check your needle until it's fully up you will stop pull the thread the upper thread pull it to the side until the thread from the bottom comes out of the hole in there the center hole pull it pull it pull it once it's up there you can start pulling everything and now you've got two threads one from the top and one from the bottom so move it to the side actually just slide it into that little groove in there and move it back and now you are ready to sew thank you so so much guys for watching my video it really means a lot to me don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.